this is a full army worm pheromone trap that we're using at the moment and as you can see in there that's where the pheromone is kept the male moths are attracted to to that and they fly in they'll fall down into here and that yellow cube is an insecticide cube and that will kill the moths these moths are then taken back to the lab for all identification purposes so the lure is not species specific we will get several different armyworm species in the trap moths can sometimes be id'd by the patterns on their wings but these moths they've lost some of their scales off their wings while being in the trap. False armyworm can be excluded by the appearance of the bushy extended genitalia on the end of their abdomen, as you can see in the picture. And then the ones without the bushy genitalia could possibly be full armyworm, and these need to be dissected so that the genitalia can be seen under the microscope for identification. We place 70% ethanol onto the moths that we would like to ID so that when they're placed in the potassium hydroxide they don't float. So we cover them with the potassium hydroxide just enough so that they can soak overnight. The potassium hydroxide dissolves the connective tissue around the genitalia so it can be easily teased apart and the structure can then be looked at to identify the moth. This moth is fall armyworm the shape of the genitalia are distinctly different. When you soak them in potassium hydroxide overnight, the internal genitalia just come out. They're very distinct from anything else. So that's fall armyworm. But in this case, I'm not sure because this one hasn't slipped out as the other one has. So I will have to tear open the terminal abdominal segments. Yes, he is also fall armyworm. It hasn't slipped out the way it has in the others, but it is not far from it anyway from the end. See, you can see that. After soaking overnight in the potassium hydroxide, this is the genitalia for ID. 